Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is a video on my Croup Manor settlement. So let's get started. So this is an interesting settlement. Uh, the house is a wreck, the place is a mess, the floors are covered with with all sorts of debris that you can't remove. So it's it's quite a challenging settlement to build in and and uh, you know make pretty. But I think I've done a pretty good job here, right? So let me show you what I've done and hopefully you can get some ideas from that. So so as, as usual, I like to put walls around my entire settlements. It just gives me that closure type feel. Uh, so I sort of the first thing I normally do is I surround the entire thing with a concrete wall um, is, is typically what I do. Uh, with the exception in this case, it has ocean. If it has water behind me or on one side, then I typically won't enclose that just because it's nice to have a water view and there's no reason to actually enclose um, a settlement with water typically because because raiders and that typically don't cross cross water right so so let's get started so as you can see uh you know the front the front yard again you know i like to level everything out <clears throat> and make it make it nice and square so i've actually put a nice deck there uh it was a little challenging because of obviously the shape of the settlement but i've actually done something different with this one um i actually built the wall and then i threw down decks wherever i could go and then i actually threw fencing around wherever uh, those fencing would go. So it's actually turned out to be really nice um, in terms of the layout because you've got all these trees and I just surrounded the trees with fences. Um, so it's actually, uh, from an architecture layout point of view, it's actually turned out to be be kind of a, uh, pretty cool because you've, you've got these different nooks and crannies around the settlement. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys, is the, uh, I took out these doors at the end um, and I just threw concrete behind it just so nobody can open those doors um, and I turned that room into sort of a, a, a disco room if you will uh, but we'll get back to that so as you can see I've surrounded everything uh, with these 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 fences uh, and the layouts turned out to be really really nice I think right So let's get started. So the first room, yeah, as you can see, the house is, is an absolute mess uh, in terms of the walls and that. So I've, I've put up wooden walls wherever I could. Um, I'm not using any mods, so the, the walls, the walls weren't too hard to do, um, and they look pretty decent. Probably the most annoying thing about the settlement is um, the ghouls that you kill. Um, as you can see, or you did see there, one was hanging from the roof. Even if you take them and you throw them in the ocean, they come back. So you leave the settlement and they're back again. Uh, you throw them away and or, or in the bush and they're back to, to where where they were. So you can't actually actually get rid of them for long. Um, that's unfortunate. So it's obviously a glitch or bug. So as you can see, this room that I blocked off, yeah, I turned into to sort of a disco room. Put some disco lights, uh, you know, some chairs, made it a little dark in there. So let's head upstairs. I also blocked off the basement because you couldn't actually get into the basement. So, um, you know, I just um, I just threw some walls in front of it. So this is just a little lounge area, a little dining room area. And then I turned um, I turned the, the room to the right there into a kitchen area. It's a big clear lounge area, I think. Turned out pretty well. Power wasn't too much of an issue. I just ran around the top beams on the outside of the building um, and did all it up so I didn't have too many problems. I'll show you my reactor. I actually decided to use um, the old reactor, the 100 unit reactor, just because the footprint is smaller. I could actually fit it in a room versus the newer reactors. I couldn't. So <clears throat> let me show you this. It's kind of a. I've never used this. This is the first time I'm using this reactor. And the footprint is really small. As you can see, there's very tight little room here that I created um, and, and the height and things like that. So I couldn't put in too many places in the house because the top piece where you connect the actual line has to be uh, exposed. And there's only a few rooms with broken, broken roofs that you can actually do that. And that room was actually just perfect. And I'll show you in a sec where I've got it sticking out. Okay, I've got a nice little room here and I've made a sort of bunker room. As you can see, I've covered all the holes with, with mats. Worked out quite nicely. So this is the main sleeping area. <clears throat> um, as you can see uh, on the walls, um, I couldn't actually, because I like building with wood sometimes, um, as you can see the reactor was just sticking out the, out the room there. 
I created the, the sort of room area, uh, but I had to cover the holes at the top of the walls with, with pictures because I couldn't actually figure out how or a better way of actually covering them uh, and making more of a closed room. Okay, I'll take, we'll take a look at the, the first of three decks I have. Uh, this one is just really a, a defense deck, a whole bunch of turrets. As you can see, these are the walls are just and they, they generally click in pretty well, um, even without mods or anything like that. I, I don't see. I don't. I mean, I don't think it was a big deal. I don't have too much trouble. I mean, it's a little tricky to get them in there and placed right, and depending on what you want to do. But they, I got them pretty close to the walls. Okay, so this was the first deck here. Like I said, I just just got a bunch of torrents on here. Beautiful view of the deck below it makes such a difference having having a deck le uh, versus leaving it bare, in my opinion. That that smoke you see in there is another glitch, like the gulls. It's from it's from the glowing gull, right? So I, I tried. I thought it was my reactor creating smoke, and I thought it was uh, Codsworth creating the smoke as well. Um, but it's actually a, a glitch or a bug from from that glowing goal, and it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of like something's burning somewhere, right? Um, I'm just gonna change it to daylight quick, so we have a better view of the settlement. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs. Um, and I'll show you what I've done here. I, I decided not to put a door here. I was playing around trying to put a door in there. I mean, you can actually put a nice door in there, but I, I, I like to sort of open. Sort of an open view there. Okay, so it's just, just an upstairs living room with TV. A couple pictures. This is my main, what I consider my main room. My bedroom area. Little office, chairs and stuff. As you can see, there's a dead ghoul on the ground there. You, you drag them out, they just come back. So this is this is probably the second or third deck, uh, if you include the bottom one, uh, which is my main um, which is my main food area. So I've got the food area at the back. Um, I have some water pumps on this one. You can see view from the top. So a couple of water pumps here. Um, the radio beacon. connected uh, to the reactor so I just pulled the, the power up through the roof there it was, again wasn't too difficult scavenging stations lots of room so you, you can add a whole bunch of stuff I mean maybe at some point I'll add some stores up here uh, I, I keep that open and then I have my final deck at the top which um, it's kind of a bar area uh, you know Made sense to to have something neat up here. You can use a new bar type. Gorgeous views of the water from the top. So it it really turned out to be really nice. I I thought I wasn't going to actually develop this uh, settlement, but uh, you know I, I I've sort of been playing around with this one and the the uh, the Tafferton Boathouse settlement, which was pretty cool fixing houses and I had a lot of fun doing that so uh, I decided to do that and this piece here that we're standing on is just forms the the roof of the the bunkers where the beds are and as you can see I left those trees in there on purpose just because it gives it some character I try not to remove trees unless this I really want to clear the area uh, it, it kind of really does make a difference I think and that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, definitely worthwhile tackling this. Wasn't too difficult. I mean, a lot of people complaining about the walls and stuff. Uh, I didn't find it too difficult. People need to use mods. I mean, you don't need to use mods to fix this place up. Um, you know, if you want it to be absolute perfect and, and, and put it in the walls and, and you use mods anyway, then go ahead and do that. But you really don't need mods to, to make this place pretty. There's another girl on the floor there. They just reappear hopefully one day they'll fix that it's amazing smoke 
it's just a look at the roofs, you know, uh, what I did. Um, give you another quick tour here. And let's just see, that, that was the deck we're standing on, just on that side. There's those two trees that are coming up to the floor. Very convenient to have the reactor right here in this room because you can just run power directly there. Very useful. And I definitely like the force, the small, the fairly small footprint. I mean, it's fairly tall, tall. So yeah, I mean, I try to put this in a few rooms, and it, the the top piece stuck in a roof, and then it wouldn't link to anything uh, while while we did that. And I just ran the power on the outside of the building, which was sufficient. And I don't think I even need to run it downstairs. It actually just picks it up. So yeah, definitely, definitely lots of fun to develop this element. And as you can see, I just put these fences around these trees and stuff where, where I could. And all just really click, clicked into place. Just throw decks down and then wherever it goes, it goes and when it doesn't, it doesn't. And you create a whole bunch of these little kind of nooks and crannies like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you know, giving it a nice sort of landscape. Not just a flat spaced area, which I'd normally typically do. And I didn't really do anything with the back. I mean, I already hit the limitation probably 10 times, yeah. So, you know, uh, I just left the back un un untouched. I didn't see much point of, of developing this too much. You could probably build a nice deck here if you wanted. And there you go. So thank you for watching. I hope you got some ideas. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. I, I, I thank you for your support. Enjoy.